Okay, Mr. White, if you could just take a seat here, we'll get this thing started. You certainly can. Okay, are you ready? Let's do this. The story of the Diamond Project and their origin is a bizarre one to say the least. Some have labelled them as crimes against nature. Some have said they are mutated super beings. Some people have even suggested they are living proof that God exists, and they are one of his miracles. These people are morons. It's unlikely that we'll ever discover the truth of their origin. All that really matters is that they are here, and they are here to stay and their fans have nothing against that. My god, man, they're fucking awesome! I defied all the laws of physics by moving so fast that I split into five different versions of myself. Now, I know that sounds weird, but it happened. I'm not gonna waste time wondering how it happened. It just did. In fact, is I have a band now. A very surreal band, but a band nonetheless. I know they all sprout from me, but they're all so damn different, I just basically refuse to believe it sometimes. I mean, you got me, the original. I'm the guy who gets everything done. I produce the albums, I write the songs, I organise the gigs, I flat out do everything, man. And then you've got the others, and that's where things start to get a little bit interesting, or scary. Grinder is without a doubt the most lazy, alcoholic bum I've ever known. The guy is just plain disgusting. It's just fortunate for him that he can drum, or else I would boot his ass right out of the band. Send shivers down my spine, dude. Then there's the wannabe pimp. Yeah. 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 I hate him so much. I play bass, bitches. I play it good. Or oh, the finger work. The finger work. The ladies know what I'm talking about, right ladies? Yeah! Purple asshole. I like to dance, I like to dance, I like to dance with the bitches, with the bitches. Get out of my face.
I play guitar. Can I go now? That guy got problems! Seriously! He all fucked up! That's why the daddy gave him a little extra attention! Hey, Blackie! Blackie! What? Suck my dick, bitch. That guy hates his name! He fucking hates it! Go on, ask him his name! What's your name? What? Your name? What is it? You know my fucking name. Uh, yeah, but we need it for the shop. God damn it. I'm Black Diamond. Fuck this shit. Ha <laughs> ha! Bitch, he hates it! He hates it! Motherfucking Blackie, it can't take the shades! The shades! Yeah, those two hate each other, man. There was this one time at a show, middle of the damn gig, Danny just walks right up behind Blacks, smacks him in the back of his head with his bass. He falls the fuck out, you know, he is unconscious. We had to carry on the gig without him. Yeah, I remember that show. I was all like, bang, motherfucker! <laughs> Good times. Well, they're all imbeciles. Arrogant as fuck. Seriously, the rest of us could actually be set on fire and he'd be more worried about his hair. I'm not one for modesty. How can I be with these looks? Well, I think it's fair to say that I am the heart and soul of this band. <laughs> well, let's face it, there wouldn't even be a band without me. Arrogant as fuck. Wally! Yeah, he fine! If I was so one of the bitches, I would do things. Nasty things. Who the fuck are you? Where's my fucking cider? Whitey? He's a gay one, right? Yeah, they're all annoying as hell. You see why I can't believe they came from me? Could you please give a message to the people back home? Of course I can, bitch! What do you think I am? Some sort of nonsensical moron? message to the people back home. I'll give it good. Get paid, get laid, and then get slayed. As far as the songwriting goes, I always try to write about something that's relevant to my own life, or at least to someone else's life who's close to me. It's all real. It all means something. And I like to pride myself upon that. I think most of the songs are about... About... Ah, it's all bollocks to me. I just hit things and he's usually happy. Dear, you're good looking. Well, I can certainly appreciate the lyrics he comes up with. They're really well thought out. In fact, I think he uses me as his muse. I mean, come on. How else could he come up with such perfection? It was just one time I asked him how he writes a song so good and he wouldn't shut up. I had to slap his black ass. I was like, look bitch, as long as your shit keeps getting me laid, I don't give a fuck. Yeah! You actually asked the others what they thought. <laughs> what did they say? I don't care. He 
It all started in my bedroom. Yay! Where I wrote this song called Sarah Angel, which is one of the few tracks that haven't made it onto the album, but it was enough to propel me into writing my own solo project. Who the fuck did that? Oh, fucking look at me. Oh, so now we're blaming the player? Yeah, it was me. That's Kevin, I was just wondering, what the fuck, or who the hell is that? Victims of a charm song like that. It doesn't make sense to me. I can't figure it out. It's really wrong. It's Really messy. Just let me know. Cheers, buddy. The Victim of Your Chance was written after a series of unsuccessful attempts at telling a certain person how I actually felt about her. Any names? No. That's between me and the song. I'm pretty sure that ship has sailed. Hey guys! I absolutely love In Your Eyes. Who is it about? I was going for your head at the time. <laughs> <laughs> it was about you. No, it wasn't. <laughs> now, in your eyes was basically about a time of my life where I was going through a very messy situation, and there was a girl who helped get me through it. She was a bit of an inspiration at the time. I had an almighty crush on her back then. I still do, to be honest. Not that I see her anymore, but yeah. Everyone has a one that got away. She was mine. Hey! So stealing my soul is different than the majority of your stuff. I know you say most of your songs relate to your life. So how does this one? <laughs> Bitch! Good question, and very well spotted. Stealing your soul actually has nothing to do with my personal life in any way, shape or form. It was written as a soundtrack to a film that the great Chris Ellis Stansfield was working on a time ago called In Darkness. I stand in darkness of my own. I am Basically, it took me a very, very long time to record it because it just kept coming out shite. And in the end, it was too late to get it onto the actual soundtrack. Um, I believe it might be getting used in another film at some point. I'm not entirely sure what the details are, but either way, still a personal fave. Stay out of the basement. My personal influences are vast. Really vast. But if I had to sit here and pick a specific few, I'd have to say story of the year, strung out, and brand new. In fact those three in particular because they're so underrated. Brand new especially. I love the lyrics. It's just the guy is such a great lyricist. Fucking love that band. The words are holes. <laughs> Where's my fucking cider gone? <laughs> The daddy is old school, bitches! James Brown, Stevie Wonder, Rick motherfucking James! And the daddy salutes Little John. Who the fuck are you? What? Uh, Get out! Uh, uh, Come on out, sir! Uh, uh, Get out! Uh, 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 Yeah.
piece of shit! I just want my cider. Influences. I do all the influencing around here. Everyone else just wishes they could influence me. Because then they'd actually have some worthwhile claim to fame. and then, bam, send you right over if you're not ready for it. Take some serious dedication. Hey White, new lyrics dude. Ah. Mind the hair, idiot. What are the things I could do right now? Back off there, Violet. I get by well enough. The cider keeps me going. I like the bitches! I just wanna be in something! Any... thing? Bitch, as long as it's wet, I'll place a bet! You feel me? Yeah, you know it. The touring is the hardest part. I have to scrape by on one shower a day in that caravan they call a tour bus. Really disgusting. That posh bastard uses all the fucking war on the fucking bus. He's a fucking bastard. Yeah, we've all debated getting a separate bus for White, but then after thinking about it, we realised he's an ass. So yeah. Well, if I got my way, four new band members. But apparently, fate hates me too much. A new album, I think. Hear that? I've been spending a lot of time in the wrong fucking place, and it. More bitches, bitch. Well, maybe a new hairstyle, a new suit. But then again, why meddle with perfection? More of the same, I think. Well, we're recording a new album. We've got another tour coming up. And if the last year is any indication, there'll be a few more child benefit lawsuits being thrown at Daddy. <laughs> it's going to be good. Feel free to join us. So there it is, the Diamond Project in all their bizarre glory, and they're definitely here to stay. So as long as that's the case, I guess it's fair to say, the future's bright, the future's diamond. Bitches. Don't stop.